I am so excited to announce the next round of my Buffy the Vampire Slayer themed readathon, Slayer Fest 2023. Hello, beautiful friends. My name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. I cannot even tell you how excited I am to be bringing back this readathon. I originally created this readathon in 2019, shortly after I started my channel, and then I revamped it. You see what I did there? Okay, okay, I'm done. I made changes to it for the 2020 round. And then in early 2021, I stopped filming booktube videos altogether. So I was gone almost the entirety of 2021. And then I didn't come back to filming until September of 2022. And by that point, it was way too late to get everything together to host it again. So it's been almost three years now since I've hosted this readathon. So here we are today. I'm bringing it back with even more changes. However, if you like the first or second iteration of this readathon, please feel free to do one of those. I honestly don't care which version you are doing as long as you are participating and having a great time doing it. I will be sure to leave the announcement videos for rounds one and two down below, but please, please, please forgive the quality of those videos. I know that even now my videos are not perfect. The lighting isn't great. The color correction is off. I'm well aware of that and I'm trying to improve every single day, but I promise you the quality of these videos now is leagues above where they were. So please be kind. But again, I don't care which version that you are doing. Please feel free to participate in any one that you choose. And yes, I am also hosting this readathon way earlier earlier in the year than I normally do. The first two rounds of Slayer Fest were held in October, but I'm doing it in April this year. And that's for a few reasons. One, simply because I was impatient. I didn't want to wait until October to bring back the readathon, especially since I kind of had everything already prepped and ready to go. Also, I have a friend whose birthday is in April and she really wants to participate. So I promised her I would get this up in time. And perhaps the biggest reason is I feel that October is a very readathon heavy month. And I kind of wanted this readathon to have an opportunity to shine and for more people to be able to participate if they wanted to. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. The details about the readathon. The overall goal of this iteration of the readathon is to build your own Scooby gang. And the more members you add to your Scooby gang, the stronger and stronger you are going to get and the more higher level big bads you are going to be able to defeat. So how is this done? I have a list of characters that you are able to add to your Scooby gang and each character has its own prompt. In order to add a member to your Scooby gang, you are going to have to read a prompt associated with the character of your choice. And then you, along with the character will then go on to defeat a big bad who will also have a prompt associated with it. And by also reading the prompt associated with that big bad, you will have then defeated that big bad and will have officially added your member of the Scooby gang. And you will then be eligible to add another character. You will continue to add characters as you go, getting stronger and stronger and beating more and more big bads. So let me give you an example. Everybody in this readathon will start with Buffy. So the buy-in for this readathon basically is to read the prompt associated with Buffy and then the big bad that she has to kill, which is just going to be a basic bitch vampire of the week. No sweat for our girl Buffy. So once you read Buffy's prompt and the basic bitch vampire prompt, you will have officially defeated the big bad, added Buffy to your Scooby gang, and then you will be able to add another member to your Scooby gang. Now I will be going through a list of all of the character options that you have for your Scooby gang, along with their associated prompts, as well as all of the big bads that I have and their associated prompts. But first I wanted to give you a couple of options for readathon completion. If you were to do this readathon as written, if you are a purist and wanted to satisfy every single prompt individually, that is 40 total different prompts. Now, I don't think I've met anybody yet who could actually read 40 books in a month. If you can, that is super impressive, but I know I come nowhere near that in a month, and I'm sure that the vast majority of people do not come near that in a month. So for those of you who want to be purists and complete every single prompt, I am actually making this a quarter long readathon. Yes, that is correct. So from April 1st to June 30th, you will have to complete all of the prompts associated with this readathon. And for those of you who just want a more traditional month-long readathon, you can just kind of go and see how many prompts you can complete and see how many big bads you are able to kill. So you will have the option of doing a quarter-long readathon or a month-long readathon, but whichever version that you choose, you will have the option to double up on prompts. However, you are only able to double up on the prompts associated with the character you are adding and the big bad you are fighting. So taking Buffy as an example again, Buffy's prompt is to read a book featuring a badass female character, and she is going to defeat a basic bitch vampire of the week. And the prompt associated with that is to read a short or quick read. So a comic, a graphic novel, a novella, maybe a short story in an anthology. So if you can find a short, quick read that features a badass female protagonist,
protagonist, then you will have doubled up on the prompts, you will have added Buffy to your Scooby gang, and you will have defeated the basic bitch vampire of the week. Now the prompt pairings are actually going to differ for everybody because even though the list of big bads is static, meaning you have to defeat them in the order that they are written, you can add whichever member of the Scooby gang that you want to add. So another example, after you've added Buffy to your Scooby gang and you've defeated that basic vampire, the next big bad that you have to defeat is Kathy Newman, the roommate from hell. And the prompt for her is to read a book outside of your comfort zone. And let's say I wanted to add Giles to my Scooby gang. His prompt is to read a historical or a nonfiction book. Nonfiction is already outside of my comfort zone. So if I just read a nonfiction, I will have already doubled up on those prompts. So if you want to be very, very strategic about this, you can do your best to pair up that static list of big bads with the character prompts to see if you can double up on every single one of them. That is up to you. If you are able to double up on absolutely every single one of them, then that's basically just 20 books because there are 40 prompts total. And so if you are doubling up on each character and big bad prompt, you will only have to read 20 books. Now, still, I consider that a lot. Like I personally could never reach 20 books in a month and I don't think a lot of people could either. But then again, you could probably easily spread those 20 books out over three months and still have plenty of room to add a bunch of different other books that you are wanting to read at that time. So as a clarification, whether you are going to be a purist and do each individual prompt or whether you are going to double up on prompts and still want to manage to complete all of them, you do have the option of completing the quarter length version. I am not policing this readathon whatsoever. You do what works for you. But I did know that 40 prompts is just way too many for any one person to satisfy in one month and possibly even three months. So please feel free to double up as you see fit. And if you choose the double up options, you don't have to double up for absolutely every single one, right? Maybe you find a perfect pairing of a character that you want to add and a big bad and you can double up. But then maybe next you don't and you have to read the two individual books. That is completely fine. Make this readathon work for you. But you do have the whole second quarter of 2023 to complete this readathon if you absolutely want to. And that is basically it for the housekeeping, the rules, the structure of this readathon. It really is just a fun time about building your own Scooby gang and beating as many big bads as possible. And I will say guys that I am so sorry, but I don't have any like beautiful fancy graphics to go along with this readathon yet. I personally am not creative. I am not digitally inclined. It is very hard for me to make things like that, but I'm hoping by next year, if I bring this readathon back, that I will have some kind of graphics that you might be able to like download so that you can keep track of all of the prompts and things like that, that you are completing. But I'm going to try to list all of the characters and their prompts down below for you so that you can maybe just copy and paste it into a document of your own. Okay. So now let's get into the characters and their prompts and then the big bads, the order in which they can be defeated and the prompts that are associated with them. So again, starting with our main girl, Buffy the hero, read a book featuring a badass female protagonist. Willow, the Wicca, read a witchy read. Xander, the loyal sidekick, read from one of your go-to authors or reread a favorite book. Cordelia, the mean girl, read a cover by or a beautiful book. Giles, the mentor, read a historical fiction or a nonfiction, something you feel like you can learn from. Oz, the werewolf, read a book featuring transfiguration or shape-shifting or a book featuring a mythological creature. Spike, the bad boy, read a book featuring a hate to love trope. Angel, the redeemed, read a book featuring a character that has the brooding boy with a tortured soul kind of trope. Anya, the betrayed, read a book that has a good vengeance plot or a book that is focused on female rage. Faith, the bad girl, read a dark or taboo book. Kendra, the other chosen one, read a book featuring people of color. So whether that's the main character or the author, the book just has to have people of color in it for that diverse representation. Dawn, the key, read a book that focuses heavily on a sibling relationship. So a sibling relationship is a key to the plot of the story. Tara, the lost lover, read a book featuring an LGBTQIA plus character. Joyce, the mom, read a book featuring a strong mother figure. Robo Buffy, the replacement, read a science fiction book. Clem, the cinnamon roll, read a book that has an animal main character or that has a strong focus on animals in some way. Wesley, the naive, read a young adult novel. Riley, the rebound, read a book that you don't have high expectations for but is on your TBR or you can read the lowest rated book on your TBR. Robin, the freelancer, read a paranormal or fantasy romance. And then finally, Jenny, the tragic loss, read a book that has prominent themes of grief throughout. All right, y'all. So those are the 20 characters that you can add to build your Scooby gang. And like I said, you get to pick and choose which members of the Scooby gang that you want to add. So if you're only participating for the month long version and you just kind of want to see how many big bads you can defeat, maybe you can pick your favorite Scooby gang characters and read the prompts associated with them and then defeat as many big bads as you possibly can with them. That is totally fine. Like I said, make this readathon your own. Do what you can do to make this as fun as humanly possible. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into the big bads. So like I said, this list is 
static and they're kind of listed in order of ferocity although that is very very subjective the rank and the order that i have these big bads might not be comparable to how you would have them and that's fine i'm actually really open to feedback on this to see if there are any other big bads you think i should have added if you think that the ranking should be changed that is totally fine but for now just know that they are kind of listed in order from least ferocious least important to most ferocious most important so of course we have prompt number one vampire the basic bitch and that again is read a short quick read like a graphic novel comic novella story in an anthology what have you big bad number two is kathy newman the roommate from hell read a book that is outside of your comfort zone Prompt number three is Veruca, the homewrecker. Read a second chance romance. Prompt number four is Sweet, the Broadway baddie. Read a book written in prose or a book where music is a focal point of the story. Number five is Zach Kralik, the serial killer. Read a true crime or a mystery thriller that features a serial killer. Big bad number six is Der Kinderstad, the child death. Read a book focused around children or read a book meant for children, such as a middle grade novel. Big bad number seven is Maggie Walsh, the evil bitch monster of death. Read a book featuring morally gray characters or a book that has a villainous perspective. So a book that is told from the villain. Big bad number eight is The Judge, The Human Exterminator. Read a dystopian slash post-apocalyptic read. Big bad number nine, The Trio, The Wannabes. Read a book with a found family or a strong friendship group. Big bad number 10 is Mr. Trick, The Henchman. Read a book that you are considering unhauling. Big bad number 11, The Gentleman, The Voiceless. Listen to the book of your choice via audio. So this is definitely an easy one that you can double up for because it's not giving you a prompt to satisfy. You can literally satisfy this prompt with any book of your choice as long as you're listening to it via audio. Prompt number 12, Adam, the Frankenstein. Read a horror novel. Big bad number 13 is The Master, the Vampire Queen. Read a book with a royal name in the title such as King, Queen, Prince, things like that, or that features royalty in general. Big bad number 14 is Darla, the Sire. Read the first book in a series. Big bad number 15 is Drusilla, the Insane. Read a book with red or black on the cover. Big bad number 16 is The Mayor, the Snake. Read a book featuring something you are afraid of. Big bad number 17 is Glory, the God. Read a five-star prediction, a potential God tier book. Big bad number 18 is Caleb, the Disgraced Preacher. Read a book featuring a cult or cultish plot. Big bad number 19 is the first evil read the oldest book on your tbr and by that i mean the book that has been on your tbr the longest and then finally we have big bad number 20 the hellmouth itself read the longest book on your tbr all right y'all so that is the 20 character prompts and the 20 big bad prompts no matter how you plan to participate whether you plan on being a purist and reading one book for every single prompt whether you plan on doubling up for all of them and still plan on completing them all for a total of 20 books whether you plan on just reading a handful to beat as many big bads as possible i just hope that you participate and have a great time doing it. Please feel free, of course, to share the word about this readathon. And if you create videos yourself here on YouTube slash booktube, I would love for you to tag me in any videos that you make pertaining to this readathon or just to direct me to any post in general that you make, say like on Instagram or TikTok or what have you related to this readathon. I would absolutely love to see all of the content that you are creating related to this. I personally am going to try to do weekly reading vlogs during the time of Slayer Fest, but I am going to complete all 40 prompts in some manner. And I'm also going to challenge myself even further Further, try and have some of the books I select for this satisfy a lot of the other reading challenges that I'm already working on. So needless to say, I have a lot of planning to do in order to create my Slayer Fest TBR. And again, I would love to see all of the content that you are creating as well. It just makes me so happy and brings me so much joy to see all of you participating and to bring this community together over a shared love of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I have even known people in the past who have never even watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer and have still participated and had a great time. But of course, be warned that if you're sharing this readathon with anybody who hasn't watched Buffy, that some of the prompts kind of do contain contains spoilers. So just be warned about that. But anyway, y'all, I think that that's all that I have. Please comment down below and let me know if you plan on participating. Let me know how you plan to participate. Let me know which prompts you are the most excited for. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post two videos a week, sometimes three, if I have my shit together and there's a third video to film. And I would sure love to see you in one of those next videos. Bye guys.